Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Hello, Bethlehem. Hello, Bethlehem. Today, we start looking at the book of Acts. And we're going to be looking at the book of Acts for the next two months or so. It's the story of God's disciples, Jesus' followers, as they go out and share the good news of Jesus throughout the world. And we're going to talk about that today with four friends. One of them we've talked with before. So why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell us what it is that you're thankful for. Hi, my name is Aria. I'm thankfully to be a helper someday. <laughs> my name is Sophie and I am thankful for my family. My name is Hannah. I'm thankful for my kitty. Hello, I am Lily and I am thankful for my family and my home. The reading today tells us about God's people right after Jesus had ascended up into heaven, that they became a close-knit community. What exactly is a community? It's just um, a big place that everybody works together. So your school, your neighborhood, or your sports team is a community. They're a group of people who care for one another, but they're not your family. So, in God's community that we're looking at today, we'll see that one of the things that united them together was sharing. What is it that you guys like to share? Hannah and me like to share her stuffed animals. Very good. And I like sharing my stuffed animals. Why is it good to share? So you can meet other people. And it shows that you care about them. Sharing things is very nice because yeah. you could actually be their friend and then you could play with them like forever friends. Sharing and giving go together. So what's the best gift you've ever received? A laundry basket <laughs> that has two sides so that me and Sophie, we don't have to do each other's laundry. What? The best gift you've ever got was a laundry basket? The world has changed since I was a kid. Do you do your own laundry? Yep. Yep. Ah, okay. We have a little help, but we usually do it all by ourselves. What's the best gift you've ever given someone else? A new toy. I gave Lily a um, bag with stuff that she needed. and I also gave her makeup and stuff. Those are all good answers, but I believe the best gift is Jesus and the love he has for us. So let's dig into the reading for today. It's from Acts chapter 4, verse 32, on page number 1090. And Sophie, why don't you go ahead and read that for us? The group of the believers were joined in their hearts, and they had the same spirit. No person in the group said that the things he had were his own. Instead, they shared everything. With great power, the Lord Jesus was truly raised from death, and God blessed all the believers very much. They all received the things they needed. Would you want to be part of that community? Yeah. 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 And why? Because... It would be peaceful. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would not fight or there would be no war. Mm. And everybody would if get along. Yeah, I would want to be part of it too. The passage goes on in verse 33 to say, With great power, the apostles were telling people that the Lord Jesus was truly raised from death, and God blessed all the believers very much. So the believers weren't just sharing their toys or their homes or their money, even though they were sharing all of that, but they were also sharing Jesus. And Jesus helped them to share. Would you guys be willing to share a song that we might use to tell others about Jesus? Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. 
Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. This Bible account reminds me of another story. Imagine four kids look into their lunch bags to see what they have for lunch. My mom got me jam for lunch. It won't be good by itself. My mom got me peanut butter. What is in it? The bread, 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 the bread. My mom only got me butter for lunch. <laughs> She must think I'm Paula Dean. This will be a terrible lunch. And unsalted? It wasn't quite what they expected or wanted. But then they realized... If we were to share, we could make peanut butter and jellies for lunch. That's a good idea! <laughs> and they took all the ingredients together and they made one delicious sandwich out of all their lunches. <laughs> took the butter and put it on the outside of the sandwich before they grilled it like a grilled cheese because that's the best way to have peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> that gave them the energy to do big things. So sharing allowed them to have something better than they had before. God's given all of us, as the body of Christ, different gifts and abilities. And when we share them with each other, God can make big things happen. So we can share things like our toys, our talents, our money, our time. Almost everything we have can be shared with someone else to give them a blessing. But the biggest blessing that we have is the gift of Jesus. What he did for us on the cross and by coming back to life for us on the grave. And so Jesus is what we want to share the most. So why don't you fold your hands, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for all you've shared with us. Help us to share all we have with others. Especially Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. Be blessed and be a blessing. <laughs>